All right, beautiful morning, Monday. It's 56 degrees today in Chicago. Yesterday, there was a reported 48 shootings in the city of Chicago. So the numbers today could be significant, 56, 48, 84, 65. All right, that could be year, that could be age. Take it how it might resonate for you. When I split the deck, I got false imprisonment and humiliation ritual. On a broader scale, this could indicate that there is someone um, well-known throughout the world that could be falsely imprisoned as a part of a humiliation ritual, or this could be a celebrity. Some big person, well-known per well person could be falsely imprisoned very soon. All right, that's not for everyone, but take it how it might resonate. It could have to do with a whistleblower, someone who's spilling the beans, telling on everybody, so they need to be shut up. Here we have this friend group is stuck in the mud. Leave them. This energy comes up quite frequently for the collective. This is about the time that we're in is really about you, individualism, focusing on yourself, your root chakra, following your passions, dreaming in ways that you never imagined. Imagine your mind could take you, taking you to places. Your mind is taking you places that you have not imagined before, okay? All right, here we have, there is no need to turn back. You are headed in the right direction. So again, there's that energy leaving these things, these people, these experiences behind that no longer serve you, moving in that direction of light that you are meant to be in. There's no need whatsoever to turn back unless you feel so. Take it how it might resonate. You are headed, head, something about the head, crown chakra, right, right brain, direction, something about the right brain, okay? Let's get another card. I'm not even going to look at the bottom of this deck. There is no need to turn back. Leave them behind. Something about the flood. Something about mud. Spirit closed your heart chakra to protect you. It will soon open again. So... There's no need to turn back. This landed right here on this card and the ink is the same. So I must have written these at the same time. Either way, we've got right direction, close, heart chakra, protect, protection, feeling protected, knowing your heart will open again sooner than you think. You had to leave something behind. It just, it, it had to be this way. So for some of you that are still uh, feeling regretful or you're in a space right now where you realize that you do have to leave certain be people behind, maybe people that you've carried your whole life, maybe you're getting up in age, you've, you've uh, exhausted some of your resources helping other people and now you could feel like you're in a bind or maybe you're not, but you're looking way far ahead into the future and you're, you're thinking, if I don't make some moves now, I could find myself in a pickle later on and there won't be anyone to help me. So it is okay to focus right now on yourself. Some of you who are healers, givers, etc., this is a foreign um, experience for you. Some of you have grown up in families where starting very early, you had to be literally the breadwinner. Okay, you don't have to carry that weight anymore. Spirits, close, close your heart chakra off to whatever. This could be for you. You embody a childlike trusting heart. So we've got heart two times, trust, understand, renewing the spirit and recreating yourself daily. So this is about reinvention, reinventing yourself. You don't have to recreate the wheel. Just get back on it. You know, get back on that horse. Something about movement forward movement progression let's get one more do okay focus on fulfilling your potential the best way you know how man i mean can can you get any clearer than this honestly can you get any clearer and i think that's where many of us are right now 
including myself, in that mode of recreating, reclaiming our power, knowing that there's still much work to be done. It's about focus. They will pay a very heavy price for lying on you. Okay, here we go. We've got this purple now coming out. You like dark chocolate with almonds, potato chips, and caramel apples. So does your twin flame. So we do have the twin flame energy that is coming through. Because these are the same colors and because this has been a uh, reoccurring theme in the collective when it comes to this twin flame energy that's someone that you trusted deeply. You had to close your, ho your heart off to them or maybe you did it, maybe spirit did. Either way, you're moving ahead of whatever this energy is. You're still learning from this experience, so you can't discount it, but whatever this is, this energy, they're under, they're, there's something heavy that they're carrying, it, and it's a price that they have to pay for lying on you. They have to pay the devil their toll, okay? They have to pay the devil their toll. You could like chocolate, dark chocolate, almonds. Ooh, that was interesting. Let's get the uh, tipper. There is no need to turn back. You are headed in the right direction. Feeling lighter. Something about the lightness, the light. Having no regrets. pathway oh my gosh there's no need to turn back you are headed in the right direction and it's clarified by pathway how absolutely beautiful is that clarity right there you know clear so your aura could be changing yesterday i did talk about the green aura something about the uh, auric field it's changing field, something about field, something about nature, brightness. Your energy is uh, gaining some sort of, there's expansion here, and it's got to do with your movement. So closed, spirit closed your heart chakra to protect you. It will open again. So what this also could be saying too is that, you know, don't, uh, you might be yearning a love, a deep love connection. You know, you feel like it's time, you're ready, but there's still something that you're moving toward that might not be clear to you just yet, but know that you are, you're in the right space. Something about space, space and time. Spirit, close your heart chakra to protect you. Okay, we've got two cards great fortune and family room. So this could very well be a family that you've had to move away from. It could be because you're coming into a large sum of money or you have. And this gift from the universe, from the creator, is not to be shared with whatever sort of family dynamic this is. They don't deserve it. And this could be the energy that is under heavy judgment, paying a heavy price, paying their toll to the devil for lying on you. And these are lies that could have been going on for many, many years, 26, 21 even, or something started to happen, to change, to shift for you at the age of 21 or 26 or even 35. Toil and labor. Toil and labor, 38. You've done your work. You're doing your work. Unexpected income. Yeah. There's something big. There's something big. Major. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. My throat just completely clogged up. <coughs> so someone doesn't want you to talk. So this could be spirit saying again don't talk don't tell your business keep these moves under wraps nobody needs to know what you're doing they just don't and you know sometimes we get hit with such amazing news and we want to share it but i can tell you from experience okay and remember i am 55 years old okay I, my husband 
was put to rest when he was 49. He didn't even make it to 50. So trust me when I say time is your currency and you cannot carry dead weight. And when it comes to your amazing abilities, your possibilities and your rewards, not everyone is happy for you. And so sometimes it is best to keep these blessings close to your heart and to yourself. Gift. Okay. Just wanted to throw that out there. Here we have despair. So there is someone that is very much in despair. They need your help. But helping whoever this might be could send you backwards. And this isn't about being cruel. It's not about being selfish. It's about taking care of yourself. You embody a child childlike trusting heart and taking care of yourself without diminishing this this beautiful gift that you are trusting you can get your heart broken 10,000 times and you still embody this trusting heart because you trust the creator you trust your path you embody a childlike trusting heart whoa lovers it's in the upright and mature man is face down now what's also interesting here is all of these cards did come facing down with the exception of this the lovers card which is uh number 15 breaks down to a six the mature man is face down so and then we've got courthouse. So you could be dealing with a mature man or you could be this mature man. There's something about the heart, childlike. This could be a uh, new contract that's opening as well as a new contract that's closing when it comes to a mature masculine energy that could be a uh, distant horizon. So this could be timeline, something about a timeline shift. Right? I don't want to read too much into this right here because it could go any way. i got a lot more cards I want to pull. They will pay a heavy price for lying on you. Something about a pull. I said pull, but it sounded like pull. Something about a pull. They will pay a heavy price. Marriage. Ugh. Okay, so again, we've got, and then we've got child here. Childlike. Number 18, it's followed by courtship. So there is the a new beginning opening up for you. It could have to do with love. There is marriage here, but the fact that this marriage card did clarify they will pay a heavy price. This could be the price, a marriage that is uh, depleting someone of their energy, of their life force, literally. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to get one frequency card here for this marriage and they will pay a heavy price. And also note, this is the only purple ink here with this marriage and the rest are this turquoise green and blue. And we've got green and blue here prominently in this card. And we've got the yellow that's in these two cards. So those three colors could be significant, yellow, blue, and green. We do have the yellow here, and then we've got it here. So something about life force. Recreating yourself daily. Something about your daily re routine, your daily routines. Maybe waking up earlier, getting on that treadmill for uh, 30 minutes instead of 20, something. Something about your routine is changing and it's uh, furthering along your progress. Daily routines are very important. Recre recreation, this could have to do with your projects, your passion projects. Love is here, there's a contract, there's two contract cards. So something about closing out one contract, entering into a new one. 
Here we've got Miracle at the bottom. This is a number 33. We see 33 frequently. The frequency of Miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of Source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. So again, this is very much focusing on yourself. Focusing on yourself. That laser-like focus is what's going to knock you out of the park. You know, whatever your ambitions are, your dreams are, or maybe you don't have anything other than just living your best life. That doesn't have to be an ambition. That doesn't have to be a dream. That just is. You exist. You're, you're, you're wanting to know as much as you can. That's why you're here for some of you. And so it's an enjoyable ride. You're learning how to enjoy the ride. You know that you're a spirit that's just passing through, right? You have your indulgences, your dark chocolate, your almonds, maybe even your potato chips and caramel, caramel. You could be very extroverted. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius, or maybe even a Cancer, okay? What is this? Ingenious, stimulating, alert, bored with routines, bored by routines. I was just talking about routines. So something about a routine you never, you'll never be happy with another man. I'll ruin him. So there is that background noise. And that's kind of how I'm looking at these uh, frequencies that you've left behind, that you've moved, you're, you're like, you're rising, your vibration, your frequency continues to rise. You keep shifting these timelines. You are very much uh, aware of the spiritual signs, the synchronicities that are coming through for you daily. Your dream state could really be amplified at this time. So routine, something about being bored with the routine, easily bored by a routine, changing a routine, or getting out of a routine even. How about that? And it has to do with your conception. This is uh, the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So this is about intention. I almost said attention. So something that you need to be paying attention to. Here we have soul time. This is a number 40. The frequency of soul time allows us, no, it asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. And that's what this is. This is a new reality for you that is emerging. There are steps, there are levels that have to occur that you have to continue to walk upon. I almost said climb, but I don't feel, you know, climb takes, uh, climb can take, I don't know, I can't, I can see someone climbing up the stairs, but they're not doing too well. You don't want the climb to be exhausting, right? Not everything can be enjoyable, but this is not, this should not be an exhausting period at this point. There's something that you've released, something that spirit has closed your heart off to, to make this, uh, this, this journey, um, I almost said more profound, so I'm not sure where that's coming from. Let me go back to this card. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So I feel like for some this has to do more with just uh, not too worried, uh, not being worried or encap encapsulated with the idea of uh, your mortality, being aware of it, but not being obsessed with it, utilizing your time differently. Hmm, not sure. Let's get some more cards. We're going to go with the tarot. Now, it is more than likely that I will start uh, picking up on some energies that will be a little bit interesting. So let's get into it. There is a lot of focus on the collective right now. Many of you are doing some interesting things. Uh, pathway, we have the world and the Knight of Swords. So arrival, departure, quick wit, 
honest, impulsive, assertive, getting what you want, the world, closing out cycles, getting what you want after uh, understanding what it is that you want, really, right? You can't get what you want if you're not real clear on, on what that is. There's no need to turn back. So while this Knight of Swords is going, this is, what is this? Where am I? This Knight of Swords is headed east where I sit right now. Okay, so something about heading east. Some of you could be heading east. The world. There's a worldwide event, like I said, something about a humiliation ritual and a false imprisonment happening. This could be happening to someone that you've left behind. Maybe someone tried to get you entangled in some sort of a Ponzi scheme-like situation and now they're getting locked up, something like that. Spirit, close your heart chakra to protect you. Knight of Swords can also be Archangel Michael, so I feel like your path is very well protected and secured. Four of Clubs. Okay, clarifying great fortune. So this is about your foundation. Your spiritual foundation, because this is God, is God energy, male or female. Take it how it might resonate for yourself, right? And we've got a couple here, we've got a couple here, and we have a couple here. So that's three couples, that's six, the number six. So this could be, like I said, closing out a, a cycle, a past cycle with someone that you were uh, deeply, or you felt that that was your forever person, and, you know, spirit had, uh, there's other plans, other plans, something about the Akashic Records, four of clubs. Great fortune, movement. Someone's moving. That energy was very dominant in yesterday's reading. Family room. Ah, three of swords. How absolutely intriguing. Starting off with spirit closed your heart chakra. To protect you three of swords so your heart is being protected right now you could be receiving some news family room family secrets are coming out someone's trying to humiliate you with something that they know about your family you could have a family member that's facing a prison charge or something a federal indictment just came through there's something that was there's a hmm. I'm gonna have to get clarity, more clarity on that, but your heart is closed right now, and that certainly could be what this three of swords is. Like you someone's someone uh their breaking point when it comes to heartache. Like something there was something too much. So spirit had to intervene. This is divine intervention right here. Spirit had to intervene because something was piling up. It was too much. And you have to be broken free from that with this Knight of Swords energy here. But not with uh, not being too impulsive. So there's something about pace. Pacing yourself. Making the right moves. The right direction. Huh. Strength. Yeah, so spirit had you had to renew your strength. Your strength is being renewed. For someone, this could have to do with heart health. Going with back to this uh, routine, something about routine. It could have to do with eating habits, with the uh, chocolate, almonds, potato chips. I love potato chips, and I've had to cut them completely out for now. Everything in moderation sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Mature man. You embody a childlike heart. So we've got heart three times. Three of swords with the heart. Heart chakra. Childlike, trusting heart. Hmm. 
And let's just say again, conception. Bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins, beginning again, starting over childlike from a childlike place of awe. Someone thinks you're awesome. Awe. Mature man. Wheel of Fortune, and it landed over here with this uh, marriage, and they will pay a heavy price for lying on you. So I feel like this is definitely a deep connection that you had with someone. They, uh, they lied. They told a lie. It could have to do with a family, or they revealed, they, they embellished a family a secret that you might have confided to this person. They embellished it, and you found out about it. Some sort of betrayal. It's got to do with gossip, malicious gossip. But now they're stuck in a karmic loop that they won't get out of. Or, or, and or. They're trying to get out of it. And they're trying to come back to you. Because this is a maybe card, right? Good luck, destiny, chance, karma, soulmates, decisive moments, cycles. We've got cycles with the world here. Life, fate, fortune, upheaval, chance, fortune. You've got your fortune over here. With this great fortune, spirit closed your heart chakra, marriage, lying. So if this is a current marriage for you, you're being moved out of it. Maybe this is something that you don't see happening yet, but you feel it. Let's keep going. Judgment. Nope. This is, this is whoever this is. They're stuck in a loop, man. They're not getting out of this. They still think they can, though. Upheaval. Judgment, marriage, they will pay a heavy price. They haven't paid the devil yet. That's what that is. They have not paid the devil yet. Whew. All right. Told y'all this reading was going to go <laughs> south. Mature man. Look. Justice. And it's landing in the reverse with this marriage and this wheel of fortune card here. Injustice, karmic, retribution, dishonesty, corruption, Lack of accountability, dishonesty, unfairness, karmic avoidance. They can't avoid this fate, whoever this is to you. The uh, corrupt are being put down. Whew. Ten of coins. Losing that ten of coins, man. This is a, this is a worldwide humiliation ritual that's happening it's uh, creator-driven for sure. So the news feeds should be quite interesting this week, to say the least. And I'm not always aware of what's going on. I don't pay as much attention as I once did when it comes to the mainstream Cretans that like to uh, tell a whole lot of stories. Six of Swords here is landing on this mature man. Divine Guidance. And then we've got judgment again when I cut the deck and four of swords is at the bottom. So this is movement and this mature man is moving. Where is he moving to? Not sure. This six of swords is following this three of swords. So this is three and six. That's 36 or four, three, six. Something about the numbers four three, six, the world is 21, the family room is 21, temperance just fell, and so did the devil. This combination came out once before, maybe three readings ago, so like I said, something can't be balanced out until someone pays the devil their toll. They can't get on the highway, so there's a mature man that is in motion being divinely guided not sure where they're going just yet let's see what else we get for lovers 
recreating. So recreating. Someone wants to recreate the wheel, this wheel of fortune with you. Okay, this is landing face down here on Six of Swords, and it is the Page of Cups. So this Page of Cups being face down. So this mature man could be, okay, so Page of Cups can also be very childlike, trusting heart. Six of Swords, face down. This mature man could be leaving behind a child, deciding not to pursue you. They know they have to get themselves together. Something like that. There's some sort of pursuit of you that someone knows they can't partake in anymore because the way that they've been doing it is all ass backwards. And in order for them to get upright, to get released from whatever sort of karmic tension this is, retribution even, they know that they have to focus on themselves. So you are teaching someone, and it could be this twin flame energy, to focus on themselves, to stop watching you, to stop tinkering in your energy and get themselves, get their house together. Someone needs to get their own house in order. And that house could be very messy right now with this marriage card here clarifying, paying a heavy price for lying. Injustice. Someone feels that this life that they have right now is an in injustice. It, it's not fair. Lovers. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Clarifying lovers, but it landed here toward this injust this justice that's reading as injustice in the reverse. We already have the Wheel of Fortune out. So this is very significant. Whatever sort of karmic retribution this is that's being unleashed, unleashed, unleashed. Someone's getting a, un, someone's broken a lease. Something about a lease. Someone can't have their, their lease, their lease renewed, released from a lease. So we'll see if the foreclosure card comes out again. So this could be the same energy as yesterday where someone is uh, becoming houseless. Could have to do with this marriage. Something corrupt with a marriage. Wheel of Fortune clarifying. Lover. So that's also interesting. So as, as I believe I said, we do have some timelines that are um, that perhaps felt like they were converging, but... There's a different timelines here. These are two different timelines. Wheel of Fortune lovers, Wheel of Fortune marriage. This is clarifying childlike trusting heart, renewing the spirit. So this is about renewing your spirit perhaps with a uh, a new person who is being guided toward you. They are still working on themselves as directed by the creator. Page of Cups is face down. I'll put it in the upright. Someone could be having some uh, some sort of thing when it comes to a child. Not sure what that's all about. Child, courtship, poverty, false person. So, as usual, there is energy of someone. Mm, gift and coffin, privileged lady, and courthouse. So yeah, there is that energy still of someone that is in some sort of horrible entanglement and you are their, their exit strategy. So you are indeed someone's exit strategy. Hmm. So the world wants Wheel of Fortune twice. So this is major... This is major global events happening as well in uh, a couple of different spectrums, celebrity and political, national news, something about the national news. All right, I think I'm done with this deck. Here we've got judgment. Yeah, man, this is hmm. starting to feel a little crusty. Got some crusty energy coming through here right now. Someone's not right in the head, man. Their brain is like a squirrel brain. You are uh, easily offending people at this time. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're easily offending people. You're pushing their buttons because for some of them, they are, in fact, stuck in this, this karmic retribution 
loop. Because that's what this feels like for someone. And the fact that you're moving forward is a bitter pill for more than one person to swallow. Okay? The world. Accident. Accident is landing here on family room, great fortune, spirit closure, heart chakra. And then we've got friendship. So nothing is by accident, but this feels like someone has a tried to really, I mean, they really tried to hurt you. Whatever this family situation is, someone really tried to hurt you. Hurt you so that they could take your fortune. Let's go back to the world. Or either you were in an accident and this family that you supported like forever didn't come to your aid. It really crushed you, broke your heart. Broke your heart and spirit came in, closed your heart so that you could focus on your healing. So for someone, you're, you, you're focused on your healing right now. The world. Blind. Damn. Blind. There is no, there's no need to turn your, turn, wait, there's no need to turn back. You are headed in the right direction. We've got world clarified by blind. So what this means to me, the way I'm interpreting this is that you can't lead the blind. Let, leave them. This is about leaving people behind that you thought would be, with you forever and it's not it's not happening conflict someone's trying to blind you to something they don't want you to move in the right direction and this too could be a theme of your entire life where every time you you try to get to that next step there was someone there waiting in the shadows to block you to pull you back down into hell you're no longer blind to these people though you see folks for who they are and perhaps you had to learn the hard way, and that's okay. That's pretty much how most of us do learn, is the hard way. Something about hardware. Could be renovating a home, thinking about buying different types of hardware for the kitchen, the bathroom. Something about hardware. Could be building a new computer system. Someone's building a new computer Get a card for Knight of Swords. Clarify the pathway. There's no need to turn back. So there is forward movement with the King of Swords and the Six of Swords. I think I did say that. Whoa. What's up? This is landing here face down on Three of Swords. What is it? Woo! Robbery. Thief of Joy energy coming through. Accident. Robbery. So somebody's trying to set up a robbery i don't like speaking on these energies especially with this four of clubs here three of swords clarified by robbery robbery did land face down i did talk just a minute ago about a computer we got a computer monitor here so if someone did try to rob you rob your home they had an accident Someone needs to be careful trying to come to your home. Schedule. Someone's trying to figure out your schedule. You could have a very flexible schedule. You could work from home. You could work part-time. You could, uh, something about your time, something about your schedule. So someone's watching your home. Someone's planning on doing something. We've got family room. Could be a family member. Someone thinks you have a lot of money. They think that you need to uh, open up the pockets, the wallet, the pocketbook, whatever. But it did come face down on three of hearts too. So again, that's also the energy of your heart chakra being closed. Unfairness. And someone feels that this is unfair. Someone who tried to exploit you in the past. Very strong family energy coming through. You're that generational curse breaker. In order for you to break the curses of your generations, your bloodlines, you had to uh, 
be moved away from this family dynamic, whatever it is, because they're all blind, blind to spirit, blind to the guidance, blind to the wheel of fortune. Some people don't believe in fate or destiny. Not your problem. Knight of Swords. Whoa. Two cards. Sweet dreams and stubborn. Did kind of land over here with this Four of Wands energy. So I do feel like this is the angels, the divine, that is, that is not budging when it comes to where you're headed. And they're ensuring that you continue to sleep, sleep well, right? Have your dreams. Live your dreams. Nothing is by accident. You are no accident. Inducement. Someone's taking a bribe, gain for some quick money. They withdrew that money really fast. M loneliness. Someone did a lot when it comes to money, and now they're looking at their life like, okay, uh, my kids aren't talking to me. I'm stuck in this room by myself. Could be a hospital room even. No one's visiting. Something like that could be happening to a mature man. Masculine energy or feminine. Take it how it might resonate. Masculine. Mature man. No, no. That's not what I want to clarify. Six of Swords. Imagination. How beautiful. And see, this is a child here. And we have child here. And we have childlike here. So this is gorgeous. I love this. I feel like this is very much mental imagining this life that you're building for yourself. Freedom. Freedom of thought even. Allowing your mind to roam free as it did once when you were a child before all the constrictions. Something about not being constricted anymore. It has to do with thought. Page of Cups, protest. It's landing here with imagination and robbery, attention. Someone wants your attention. You could be someone that does not like a lot of attention. Maybe you're imagining a quieter life, a more secluded place to live. Maybe at one point you thought that you were past that age where you could make these drastic moves and now you're realizing that that's not true. Page of Cups. Okay, eternal love. And it landed upside down on this justice that is upside down. So, whatever this was that you may have thought was going to work for you, it's not what is it's not meant for you and this is could also be the external energy of someone that really is in their head about you still but they know that they have to move on because nothing good is coming from where they are currently and when it comes to whatever sort of marriage this is there is no love here this is not an eternal bond it's very superficial in nature constricting so there's that constricting snake like snake around the throat sort of energy page of cups i'm not getting anything for this card so i'm gonna put it back face down we'll go to this wheel of fortune here ah lovely origin that's beautiful schedule again and here with the soul time Allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. Wheel of Fortune, Origin. And this new reality is just based on who you've always been, who you are. Timeless. You're timeless. Your, your soul is limitless. Origin. And that's how you, you came and that's how you'll return. Limitless. Your soul is limitless. All right, let's go to, and this origin also has to do with this lovers here. So you are, there's something being recreated when it comes to a partnership for you. 
something that you could have uh, thought was not going to happen ever in this lifetime. Time, 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 timelines. Wheel of Fortune. Third wheel kind of came in reverse. We did a whole lot of uh, bouncing around here. So wheel, third wheel in reverse, perseverance, pride, strategy, family, conflict, hesitation, gift, loss. So make no mistake about it. There is the energy of someone that really knows they screwed up when it comes to you lying on you, creating all these uh, false identities for themselves that got them absolutely nowhere. A lot of drama with this third wheel in the reverse. Been found out. Someone wanted you as a third wheel, which insulted the divine thoroughly. You're still this person's goal. Meanwhile, you're quite focused on your goals, whatever, whatever those might be. And they could be changing from day to day. You know, you always have to kind of do those little tweaks, right? Something you could be tweaking something. Let's get a card for a mature man. Muddy water swamp sideways yep what's at the bottom false imprisonment damn okay well yeah that goes back to that global energy lovers in the tarot is a gemini so this could be a gemini somebody somebody's this is more than one person no this, these are mature men corrupt men and then there's the energy of someone that's maybe corrupt, but not that much corrupt, but they are, uh, they got to pay the toll. Everything is about paying the devil right now. I don't want to read this. Muddy waters, something about the mud, the waters. We did, oh, I saw that card. You left this friend group in the mud. So the mud is, is, is thinning. Something about slippery, slippery slopes, swamp. This mature man is more than one, in, one person. This is many people. This could be a group. This is about older people. Someone that's up in age. This could be spirit because we do have spirit here ancestors there's a lot of things that this could be here oh yeah yeah let me get another card let me do this way money no that's not gonna work Hold on. what's this sand castle so all these this this fake these fake narratives there it's like a giant sink hole sink Hole, seeker, something about seeker and sinkhole. Mature man, muddy water, swamp. Oh. Hidden cameras landing on family room. Swamp again. Python spirit. Now see. Sand castle. False imprisonment. Farmland and lawfare. You have a very high tolerance for physical pain and no king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. Ooh, Psalm 33, 16. So on a global scale, because that's what this is, It's going down, man. It's going down. Python spirit. So there's something. I did talk about snakes around the neck. Something about a snake around the neck, not being able to breathe. Corruption. The justice system is very corrupted pretty much in uh, all regions of the world, not just the U.S. where I'm based. 
something about where you're based right now, something about hidden cameras. Someone's discovered a hidden camera in a family room. Swamp twice, something about swampland, something about farmland, something about farmland that is being uh, dehydrated or the farmland is being um, flooded. So there's crops that are being flooded deliberately. So now we're getting into a uh, weather manipulation and all kind of stuff that is uh, going to make this reading three whole ass hours if I continue. So take this how it might resonate. <clears throat> you're, you're prepared for this, whatever it is. You're protected. But yeah, swamp. You're dealing with a swamp creature, a python spirit. So this python spirit is uh, being pushed into there's a python spirit emerging from the swamp. Python swamp. This is Florida. Something about pythons in Florida. This is Florida. Shit. Sandcastle. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. No, oh, man. Let's. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's like, whoa. Uh uh. Something about Florida. Swampland in Florida, pythons, muddy waters, accident, robbery, sweet dreams, protest, imagination. You just keep moving. You just stay focused. Don't get too distracted by whatever nonsense this is that's about to play out in the public, the public eye. The majority of the public is blind to what's happening right now. Mm. Whoa. So you could be having some very interesting dreams um, when it comes to elementals, the elementals. Something about the elementals. Lovers and mature man. I swear, if that reptilian card comes out, I'm just going to fall out of my chair. Or the Alpha Draconian. Those suckers better not show up. Come on. Lovers, mature man. Jeez, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Crop circles here. So we could be talking about a golf course even. Messages, sign. You're seeing the signs. Here we've got the fire element. And here we've got the Nagas. This is a python. We've got the python spirit here. We've got the lovers here. Okay. So this is very significant. This comes, this is, this is literally one story, but is, it involves a hidden camera, a mature man, lovers, could be same sex or not. Naga's here. And it's, uh, it's going to be a, a part of this humiliation, um, Ritual. So there's a major humiliation ritual underway right now. It's got to do with this lovers twice. This is 14 and this is 15. So that's five and six breaks down to an 11. This is the 11 here. Justice. Remember, it's in the reverse. So this is karmic retribution, injustice, dishonesty, corruption. So there's somebody that's being set up. Yes. Yes. And then we've got the air. So it could be an air sign or a fire sign or both. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. Okay, so behind Oros Boros. I don't think I'm saying that right. We've got MIB. Stalking, intimidation, confrontation. So be mindful who you let in your home. Okay, if you are involved with any sort of legal proceedings... I strongly recommend that you don't write anything in any comment forum, 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 okay? Swamp twice, that's significant. Now we've got earth here. So something going on with the elements, elementals, earth, fire, air, survival, survival, survival. That's not a word. Survival, surveillance. Someone's under surveillance with this hidden camera here. Whew. 
something about the trees, someone that's demolishing the trees, something doing something to the trees. It's got to do with crops, crops and trees. Anuna, Anunakai, Anunakai, Naki, Anak, can't say that either. Damn, conflict of interest, drama, controlling, and then we've got the golden ratio, beauty, nature, patterns. So there's some sort of natural event that's happening. It's got to do with some flooding, damaging the crops, something like that. All right, let's close this out with these beautiful cards here. Crystals deck. Anything else for this mature man and this lover? So you continue to be this driving force, continue to con have this fire in your belly, you know? All right. <laughs> Seriously? Serpentine? Serpent? Python spirit? Nagas? This is crazy. A, time, a lime to kale green stone is serpentine. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Kundalini yogi. So this has to do with the Kundalini, right? That's how the Kundalini works too. Sure it is. Up the spine. Something about your spine. Anyone in need of a fresh start. That's how this reading kicked off about moving forward. So this is about your fresh start, okay? You're, you've gotten out of this mud. You're not in this mud, man. You're not in it. During meditation, hold serpentine in each hand. Something about your hands. You could work with your hands. Concentration, circulating energy, circulating blood flow from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. So this is about the base chakra and the crown chakra and everything that's in between. Let go of tired beliefs, being stuck in energy, getting unstuck. When the serpentine, if serpentine arrives in your life and see that dumbass pace bus is messing up my reading. So don't let any dummies mess with where you're headed, what you're doing, what you're focused on. And that's not, a, I don't mean to say dumb, but that's what came out my mouth, okay? Unstuck energy. If serpentine arrives, serpentine, serpentine arrives in your life, it's an invitation to rip off all proverbial band-aids and regroup. So this is about regrouping. Perhaps you want to hit the sauna, sweat it out, release all lingering drama, okay? Awaken your reptilian nature. How interesting is that? Awaken your Awaken your reptilian nature. Take that however it might resonate with you, okay? Here we have shungite. I love this right here. I have a lot of this. Shungite is a coal-like mineral, something about coal. You could be in the, uh, in the, something about the Appalachian Mountains, carbon molecules, Fuller, fullerenes or buckyballs, I've never heard of either of those, form in the shape of tiny geodesic domes, something about domes, electroconductive, -condu something about electroconductivity, uh, something about Russia, where local spas have taken advantage of the minerals purifying powers for centuries. So back to that ancient wisdom, Anybody looking to get honest with themselves, being honest with yourselves. So this is very consistent when it comes to the collective energy and just staying focused, knowing that you are where you're supposed to be and you're headed in the right direction, even if it does not feel like it. Here we've got in your water bottle. Yeah, I put Shungite in my water bottles. Meditation, um, something about electricity. So you could be feeling a lot of... Uh, interesting signs. You could be seeing colors in neon, something about neon. And when it's time to reclaim your energy from whatever it's been and whomever it's been with, reclaiming your energy from past lovers or a past lover here with this eternal love that's in the reverse. So you're, you've reclaimed your energy for sure. Wow. Wow. All right. One more.
from the angel deck. Gotta love the angels. Holy moly. Final messages. So there's something big on, on the scene for, uh, on the horizon for these global um, tyrannical energies that are running their course. There's a setup though, major setup. Oh wow, spiritual understanding. It landed here and it just, I don't even think I could do it again. Hold on, how did it, yeah. It landed here, so there's something that has come into form when it comes to your spiritual understanding. Something that you are no longer blind to, okay? This is uh, Archangel Raziel. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So there's something that you've understood, you're understanding, you're applying it to your life, and there's something bigger, way bigger, that is now coming into your, your line of vision. And it's beautiful. Beloved one, at the bottom, Archangel Chamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. This card always shows up nine times out of ten whenever the twin flame energy is coming through. So with this beloved one here and this eternal love in the reverse, you have released yourself from any past entanglements and you are indeed moving toward a, uh, a soulmate connection, however you might want to define it for yourself that is being assisted by the creator. So that's what I have, Collective. Thank you so very, very much for... Uh, helping this channel grow. It's it's amazing being here, humbling, in fact, and I can't wait to be back with another video for you guys. See you soon.